And you're very welcome here today, folks. This is the Intermediate Football Championship, Tyrone Quarter Final. The game's in Eden Dark, and it's between the Moy and Cookstown. You're very welcome to join us here. It's Saturday, the 23rd of September, 2017. For this big quarter final, as the captains meet there and get ready for the toss. And I'm delighted to be joined here today by co commentator Philly McQuaid. So we're just about ready for the throw in. We'll get Philly's views in just a moment and throughout the game. But we're getting ready for the throw in now as the referee throws the ball up. And up contesting the ball straight away there is Colin Kavna. And it's Ryan Coleman actually lays that one off now. Colin's breaking through the middle here. And he's breaking right through in goal. And he's laid that one off to Harry Lahren. And Harry slid it into the net already. What a start. After 20 seconds of the game, the Mai has opened with a goal. And what a dream start they have made to this Intermediate Championship quarter final. Fantastic start. And what a goal by Harry Lahren, Philly. Serious good start, yeah, yeah. Uh, Coleman got the hold of the ball there and passed it over to Colum and things just seemed to open up and be better in the end of it only Harry and find the net. Such a good start for the Moy. Absolutely, and that's a fine field there in the midfield again by Emmett Rafferty. Unandini now has the ball. He's playing a very long high ball in there. And this time it's Sean Cavan. Now Sean gets the fist across. It's bounced off the crossbar. And that is the goalkeeper's made a fantastic save. The ball came off the crossbar. There was a foot went in. I think it may have been Decky Conroy. And uh, the keeper had to be very alert there. And that was almost a second goal for the way within two minutes of this championship quarter final. So the Mai has certainly signalled their intentions well here today. And it's Unandini now stepping up to take the 45, the resultant 45 from that goalkeeper's save. Yun will hope to uh, get the opening point here for the Mai. But that ball's fallen short here. And it's arrived in, and Cookstown's cleared it up in the full back line. And it looks like it's Marty Murray coming out now. The unmistakable figure of Marty Murray. Former county man, of course, and an excellent underage player as well. So, Cookstown was a wee bit rocked by that early goal there now. And um, I say, just the start that I wanted. They couldn't have dreamt of a better start. And Harry Lauren, of course, the man to get that opening goal. And I'll very quickly run through the team line out for the Moy here today. It's in goals. We have Nathan Brady. Full back line is Paddy Mackle, Tomas McNichol, and Thomas Conlon. Half back line is Tom Lahern, Niall Conlon, and Mark Gribben. Midfield is Colum Kavna and Emmett Rafferty. Half forwards, we have Chris Kavna, Harry Lahern, and Declan Conroy. And the full forward line is Ryan Coleman, Sean Kavna, and Eunan Dini. So a very strong line out for the Moy. As Cookstown start to build here now, looking for that opening score. They're only a goal behind, it could have been two goals behind. But here they come now, and they're looking for a score of their own here now. And that looks, oh, he screwed that off the side of the foot, and that's went harmlessly wide. Slight tussle going on off the ball there too, but nothing too serious. But the referee has seen something, and he's now issued a free for Cookstown by the looks of it. Right on the 14 metre line, so that's a handy free. I don't know if you've seen what went on there, Philly. I didn't see a lot, just the, the full back and full forward, bit of a confrontation, but the referee set a, set a marker down here, he's given a free in, handy free for Cookstown. A handy enough free as you say, but Cookstown has finally got off the mark, and that's now the Moy one goal, Cookstown one point. As Nathan Brady prepares to kick this one out again, conditions, decent conditions here. Um, the wind, slight breeze, not too sure who it's really favouring this half, it's mainly cross field perhaps. As Tommy McNichol wins that ball around the midfield line, Tommy's roaming out the field. He's laid that one off to Colm Kavna. Colm Kavna now lays that back to Mark Gribben. Mark Gribben in turn gives that to Ryan Coleman, oh and there's a high enough challenge on Tommy McNichol. So that'll be a free for the Moy, but it's well out the field and it's possibly beyond the scoring reach of any of our free takers here. So, good start, Philly. You'd be happy enough with this opening for the Moy. Good early pressure from the Moy in the early score. Cookstown are, are a bit rocked, as you say, but uh, it's good to see Tommy McNichol getting up the field there and uh, creating the free there for the Moy. Yeah, Tommy, of course, great utility player as well, has played in a number of positions for the Moy, but defence is usually his, his strongest position, of course. Now, Harry Lohan has been blew up there. I don't know if that's for... Alleged over carrying. 
didn't seem to be a lot in that one now, or didn't seem to have much time, but just before that, Cookstown also had a man, yellow card as well for that challenge uh, on Tommy McNichol, so that's the first of the yellow cards here today, they not want too many more, oh well, that's a lovely ball in now to the Cookstown number 10, who struck that well, there's a big response from the crowd here, the Cookstown crowd seem happy with that one, and yes, that ball has went over the bar, and that's a fine point, so Cookstown has got back into this well, Philly, they've hit the last two points. Yeah, maybe left a wee bit open at the back there. The number 10 found himself in a lot of space and something they might need to tighten up on here. Yeah, as Nathan Brady kicks that one, it's just went slightly askew there. Slight breeze possibly carried that one over. I can see a few of the journalists over there, like Francie Mooney, taking a few notes here for tomorrow's newspapers as Cookstown now start to build again. So far from being rocked by that goal, Cookstown is responding very well here to the Moyes early onslaught. And again, they're fielding a long ball in here. And as Big Gilmer has the ball now, he has turned quickly, but this time he has struck it wide. But an opportunity there for Cookstown to go level. And since that opening goal, Philly, um, Cookstown has had most of the play here. So the warning signs are there for the Moyes. Yeah, Cookstown's got a bit of confidence built up there now and they're obviously trying to target Big Gilmore full forward there and he'd be disappointed with the, that last shot. Yeah, absolutely. And here's Tommy Conlon, the corner back now, roaming up around the midfield as well. Now Mark Gribben suddenly finds himself in a good bit of space here. Harry Lohan, Harry picks out all oh, brilliant pass into Ryan Coleman. Ryan had to turn very quickly with the shot, but this one has drifted wide again. So I believe that's Murray's first wide just. Cookstown have struck two wides. So a decent move there, but the finish wasn't quite there. As the Cookstown goalkeeper prepares now for this latest kick out. So of course we have two of the big heavyweights here, you could say, at intermediate level in Tyrone this year. Vian for a semi-final spot. The Moy, of course, defeated Otter in the first round by three points on a very, very wet day in Carrickmore. So this is quarter-final day today and a semi-final place up for grabs. Both teams would really love to be there. Unandini now has led this off to Ryan Coleman. Ryan Coleman's wearing 24 today. And he's given that back to Emmett Rafferty. Emmy lays it off to Sean Kavanagh, who's come out the field. Sean started full forward. He's done that famous shimmy. He's trying to line up for a shot, but he hasn't. He's laid this one off to Mark Gribben. Mark Gribben has given this one now to Harry Lahern. But Harry has just lost possession there. And Cookstown's back defending numbers and have won the free out. So that's a couple, two or three attacks since her opening goal. Philly has came to nothing there. We're getting bottled up fairly quick and Cookstown defending yeah, numbers. Cook, Cookstown's a lot of men back there and the way finding it difficult enough to get a bit of space there, you know, so... Yeah. Well, something they're going to have to work on again. Yeah, we'll certainly have to find a way of unlocking this Cookstown defence. They've certainly tightened things up since that early goal chance or two by the way. So there's going to be nothing easy, I would say, for the remainder of this match. We talked about two of the big heavyweights, of course, but Cookstown are the real intermediate specialists in recent years. All Ireland's success, and I suppose that's something only the Moy could dream about, Philly. We haven't won a, a Tyrone Championship in 25 years, so that really has to be our aim this year. Yeah, Cookstown's been there, done that, and I suppose the Moy's in intermediate now, and it's a good opportunity now to progress here today, and it might not be fair in Cookstown either. Yeah, it's all about Tyrone so hard to come out of. I mean, for Cookstown to have went on and won Ulster in the All-Ireland, that was an incredible achievement for them. But getting out of Tyrone is an achievement in itself, and the Moyes taking one game at a time here. And how we would love to win a championship this year, but certainly a long way to go. Here's Eunan Deeney now, gives it to Emmett Rafferty. Emmett has to turn back. He's faced by three Cookstown defenders now, as Declan Connery wins possession. Declan gets the ball, lays it off to Sean Kavanagh. Sean, nice intricate fist pass in here, but we're working further away from goal. And that shot again has skewed wide for the way again. Now all of a sudden, Philly, the thing had opened up in those first minute or two, and all of a sudden now Cookstown's forcing us into long range shots and nothing really coming off at the moment. Yeah, forced into a tight angle there, possibly well. You'd, you'd, you'd expect Sean to hit that over at the same time, but that's our second wide now and Proving difficult enough to get space up there for scores. Yeah, and all of a sudden it's Cookstown now. Still got their tails up slightly after those few my misses as well. They're sensing now that this game certainly is uh, could turn very easily here as another big long ball comes in and Gilmer's got the fist to it. And that has ended up in the net. I don't know how much he knew about that. 
the high ball came in and now there's a slight tussle going on between Tommy McNichol and himself and Cookstown's getting involved here. Paddy Mackle coming in there too just to assist his, his comrade in arms. So, oh, fully that goal stands all right. Big Gilmer has always causing trouble at the edge of that square, but he's a big, big man, and that's what a high ball in can do. One fist, and it ends up in the net. Yeah, the referee's going to have a word with, with both men here, but uh, he's going to prove difficult to deal with there under the high ball and got the fist in, and Nathan Brady wasn't, didn't get near it at all. No, no, Nathan Brady beat hands down. The ball ended up in the top corner of the net. There wasn't a lot he could have done about that. So Cookstown have got themselves right back into this. All of a sudden, the Moy's dream start has quickly evaporated. It's Cookstown 1-2, the Moy 1 goal. So that certainly puts it up to the Moy here again. So certainly can't rest on their laurels. A push in the back there in Ryan Coleman, which is heavily disputed by Cookstown for some reason. It was a blatant push in the back. Ryan Coleman now wins that, lays it off to Harry Lahern. And it's Mark Gribben who's seen quite a bit of ball here in these early stages as well. Harry's wondering how he can break through this defence again. He gives it to Ryan Coleman. Ryan shimmies past his man, seen to be a slight infringement. He hits that off the side of the boot and that goes over the bar. Fine point by Ryan Coleman, Philly. And one that was badly needed after that Cookstown onslaught there of one goal and two without yeah, the play. Yeah, that'll settle them a little bit. But Ryan Coleman seen a lot of ball, but that'll, that'll give him confidence there knocking knock that one over the bar. Absolutely, that'll do Ryan's confidence a world of good, as you say, Philly. So... That gets us back down to a point again. Two wides each from both teams as well. As this ball breaks out and it looks as if, oh, the, yep, the linesman has given that to the Moy. As you can see the Moy subs there. Francie McQuaid pointing away too in the sideline. Pointing out directions. I see Donald Jordan, Paul McJordan. And a very strong sub bench there as well for the rest of Moy. There's a mm, heavy enough challenge from Sean, but he seems to have fouled there. So... Let's just see now what the referee has declared. What's he doing? He's got the ball here. It looks as if he could be throwing this one up, is he? Looks like he's going to hop this ball, yeah. Uh, he's hopped the ball all right. There must have been something said in Cookstown. And again, Sean Cavan has been unceremoniously bundled over by the full back, who just nonchalantly walks away as if nothing to see here. But Sean disputing there whether there should be more to that rather than just a free. And the referee is waving... We have across one of the Cookstown defenders, if not two. Yep, the Cookstown right half back here now and the full back are making their way to the referee. It was the full back who initially made that challenge and Sean, but something has happened as well for the number five to get spoken to here by the ref as well. So two Cookstown men here will be interesting to see. Oh, double yellow card. Bit of a blow that for Cookstown. That's actually now their third yellow card. So a few men there already. Dyson with danger in terms of any more tackles from them and that could be spell a good bit of trouble. So Sean lines the free up now. It's 1-1 one, one to 1-2. One, this could equalise if Sean can find his range from the free kick. Has that ball gone over the bar? It looks good. The referee's making his way to the white flag and the white flag is raised and it's 1-2 one, two to 1-2. One, two. So after Cookstown's 1-2 fully, we've hit back with two points of our own. So back in level terms again, all to play for. Yeah, it's just looking like it's going to be that sort of a game, isn't it? It's going to be maybe tight all the way through and point for point and we'll see how it goes from here on. Yeah, the pundits certainly were expecting a tight enough tussle here. They were finding it very, very hard to uh, predict a winner in this one. Both teams going in with a fair degree, you say, a good reputation and two good opening round wins. The referee just speaking to Tom Lahern and Marty Murray there, who were kind of tussling off the ball a bit. He's just giving them a slight warning, no cards. So, nothing coming too much of that. Emmett Rafferty goes up and challenges that ball, but it's Cookstown coming away with it now. But Moy pinning them back in their own defence. It's that man, Marty Murray, again. He's certainly Cookstown's danger man. He gets on a lot of ball for Cookstown, and that's why I think Tom Lahern has been assigned to stick as close to him as possible. He certainly is their danger man. Been about Philly. We've seen this Marty Murray guy play before, and if he doesn't get stopped, he's going to be... Cause a fair degree yeah, of trouble. Yeah, dropping here. quite deep there and seeing a lot of ball, but uh, something that might just need to work on to kind of keep the ball away from his path, you know. Yeah, and just just Tom Lahern is actually now the latest player to have got a yellow card there for attacking Marty Murray, so he's he's now on a 
on a fine, nice line as well here, knife edge. It's on the Cookstown man, has certainly went over the lane there, so that's a my lane ball. But yeah, Thomas went into the book there as well, so he now needs to be careful. That's uh, a few yellow cards mounting up just in these early stages, but hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. Both teams just settling into this game, the referee stamping his authority on it as best he can. We've had a few, uh, we'd call feisty my Cookstown battles in the past, Philly. Yeah, it's always a good contest between the and Cookstown now. Uh Today will certainly be no different than with those yellow cards now. There's a number three and a number five for Kirkstown defenders there. And obviously Tom for the Moy and need to be very careful from here on in. There's a long way to go. Absolutely, yeah. These are early stages and no one wants to get the lane in a big championship match. You can certainly swing it uh, the other team's direction if that's the case. But here comes the Moy and attack now again. It's Emmy Rafferty laying it off and linking well with his defence attack. Ryan Coleman looks to have swung that one over and that's a fine point. Emmett Rafferty, the man with the assist and Ryan Coleman with that lovely strike there goes over the black spot. And the Moy's back in front, Philly. We've now hit the last three points of our own and it's now Moy 1-3, Cookstown 1-2. So a, a good spell there for the Moy back yeah, into Ryan's the game. leading the charge there. If we can get enough ball up to the likes of Ryan Coleman on there, he, he, he definitely will do damage. He seems to be on form today. There's certainly a lot of threat in that my attack when you've ran Coleman, the likes of Sean Kevin. It's just experience alone of Harry Lauren and that. So a lot of men and a lot of experience in this my team. So we're just waiting for them to really arrive in the big stage in the championship. We haven't done it in recent years. We've always been flattered to deceive at times in the championship. There's a push in Niall Conlon, another man of huge experience. But he lays it off now to Colin Kavanagh, who picks out Declan Conroy well. Dackey with that lovely left foot there, you can see, nice style. As he makes his way up, he's playing on his own defence there too, trying to link between defence and attack as well. And this is Ryan Coleman. It's Moy slowly building from the back here now as Chris Kavanagh has the ball in possession. Trying to find out who he can pick off. We have a good angle today, looking down right down this field here. We can see a lot of what's going on from the Nathan Brady's. Angle as Sean Kavner now wins this ball close to goal. He's trying to find space, but he's surrounded by three Cookstown defenders. And he's tried to lay that ball off. Oh, and that's a challenge there by Emmy Rafferty. Emmy will feel the ball was there to be won. The Cookstown man has went down. He's staying down. And the referee could be reaching for the notebook again here. Emmy could now find himself in the book. And um, let's just see what the referee decides to do. He may actually be... Heading over towards his linesman to see what exactly went on there. Yeah, he's getting the book out, whatever the referee has said. Or sorry, the linesman has said, Philly. Um, and he becomes the latest man to get a yellow card. And now these yellow cards really are mounting up. Yeah, that's another my man with a yellow card. But it was a foul, yes, but I didn't see much in it. But the linesman thought something different. Yeah, I suppose you could argue that's the case been a f with a few of these. Um, nothing nasty about this game or anything. But, I mean, that's now... Um, I'm, I'm making that, that's five yellow cards, three for Cookstown, two for the Moy. Nothing nasty about it, but maybe it's just a case of the referee wanting to take action early on in this game. I say there has been a few feisty enough battles, if you can call them that, between the Cookstown and the Moy in the past. A couple of battles. But um, here we go with this game anyway, as Cookstown again go looking for an equalising score. They'll be looking that high ball in again if they can into that full forward line. Where's this going to break? Bit of desperate defending there by the way. Brady's out as well. Nathan Brady to make the goal line clearance and he gets that cleared. He does good work in getting that cleared to Decky Conroy. Decky Conroy making his way up towards the midfield again. Tommy Conlon, who's doing a lot of roaming in round, up round midfield too. His man's bringing him out the field. That'll suit Tommy. Tommy's comfortable, of course, up round midfield and in his own attack as well when he has to be. Colin Kavna now. Making good ground as well for the Moy. Lays it off to his midfield partner, Emmett Rafferty, who swung around the hips, and the referee will give that a free in. Well done, Emmett. Sean Kavner now coming out to take this free. Nice build-up out of defence there. All started with Nathan Brady's clearance there. Philly worked that one well. Patient build-up, and hopefully now another score. Good work, good work. For, and it's probably going to take that extra man like Tommy Conlon coming up there to create a bit of space because Cookstown's quite a lot of men back. Um, he's created the free this time, isn't it? Yeah, Cookstown certainly is pulling men back in numbers, and I think it's since that early goal chance or two. We have seen not one sweeper, but possibly two there now to prevent any more goals from going in. Sean has that one swung over, and you can see there the wind was a slight factor in that, in that it just about made it. The goalkeeper got a hand to that, and it just went over the black spot, but they all count. 
and Sean will be happy enough with that. It's now 1-4 to 1-2. And my go two up again. So a bit of a topsy-turvy game, say the way after that one goal went two points behind then, Cookstown, but Mai has responded well, and that's now four points in the trot for the Mai. So as Philly rightly said, it's um, it's a game that's going to be like that, you feel. Both teams are going to have their periods on top here. And here is McGahan with the ball, another very, very useful forward and a man of great experience for Cookstown. He's playing the high ball in, but that's better read and well done, Mark Gribben. Finally read there, they're aiming for those big men in round the full forward line again, Cookstown. But this time the Mai were wise to that. And it's Decky Conroy coming out with the ball again. And so this first half starting to settle down and take a wee bit of pattern now. As Colin Kjavna, always a, always a big influence in this Mai team. And he's ticking, of course, the whole team's ticking. Gives it to Emmett Rafferty. Emmett Rafferty finds Unandini. Unandini has... Pass that inside to Harry Lohan, but Harry's going to find it very hard now. He's, uh, he's on the tight angle. He's going to find it very hard to get past the Cookstown defence. And uh, that's a Cookstown turnover. Excellent defending by them. As they build up again here. So uh, let's just see what this attack now can mount to. Sean Calvin is back now playing midfield. Sean next to move out from... Full forward now and again, and that's great work by Sean actually to win that free back, and he gets it free himself. Excellent work by Sean Kavner, his work rate's very good. And it looks like Colm Kavner's now from the angle we have. Colm has moved in temporarily, I'm sure, just a full forward. If this one drops short, he's going to be in there ready, waiting for it. And the high ball is coming in, but Cookstown again is alert to that. And again, big numbers back and nothing coming of that attack either, Philly. Cookstown's starting to sweep up a lot of ball now. Yeah, well, the winds obviously had a factor there. And Colin was in there, you know, it was maybe going to drop short, but Cookstown dealt with it well. The, the, the previous attack there, Ahmed Ravley probably should have took the shot on himself. He, he, he put Harry Lahorn out into the corner in a, an impossible position. And the wind, as you talked about, is slightly favouring Cookstown. It, it's kind of cross field, but slightly favouring Cookstown in this first half. And you can see a couple of the my efforts has just fallen short there due to the wind. But here come Cookstown now, so this game still just two points in it, and again the high ball into the full forward, and again that has not broken kindly, but the referee has whistled, and I feel this could be danger for the Mai, this could be a penalty. Mark Gribben was the man in there contesting strongly, but he may have grabbed the, the big Cookstown number nine round with the waist, and the referee, it's just inside the square. And not only is it going looking like a penalty filly for Cookstown, it's looking like another yellow card as well. So that's a, a double blow there, you could say, for the Mai. Yeah, I suppose Mark can have no arguments there. He, he, was, he had the two arms around him and both players had the deck. And <laughs> the penalty was the only decision coming there. Yeah, I feel that's the right call there now, as much as pains me to say it, but that is a penalty. But Philly, that high ball in again causing the Mai certain degree of trouble we haven't quite dealt with that yet their first goal came of it too and is this going to be the second one it's nathan brady lining up now the odds always stacked against the goalkeeper in cases like this but let's see if he can keep this one out no he's went the wrong way and the cookstown full forward gilmer has scored a second goal he Put that away nicely, fully. Just he was cool and calm and collected there as he struck cool, that penalty. Yeah, he, he struck it well and really couldn't do much about that. No, Cookstown's no, definitely right back not. Cookstown's right back in it. In fact, fully, that's them a point up now. It's two, two to one, four, eight, seven. So after those four points in the trot for my all that good work has been kind of undone by that penalty now because Cookstown's a point up and this game really is just going from one end to the next now. Uh, and to say that penalty comes with about five minutes to go now to half time, five or six minutes. So a big score for Cookstown again, and you'll find their tails could be up again after that. So the goals are a killer filly. I mean, two goals now, and all of a sudden we're behind again. We've really got to tighten up here in defence, you feel? Oh, definitely, yes. But going forward there too as well, you know, they need to be going forward in numbers. They're trying that ball into Sean Kavanagh there, and, and they've got extra men back, and it's really difficult for him. Yeah, absolutely. The referee has let that one go. There was a Cookstown will feel slightly aggrieved possibly that they could have had a free there, but he's let the play go here now. And oh, there's a big challenge again as Colm Kavanagh makes his way through, but it takes a harder challenge to keep Colm Kavanagh down in fairness. 
That was well taken there, and yes, a big, big hit, but Colin bounces straight back up again. Looks like the referee's going for the book again here. Yeah, again, another one of those where you'd think, you know, it's a foul, and you would just take a free, possibly, but referee has given another yellow card, and now this is starting to get a wee bit worrying, the amount of yellow cards for both teams, because you just feel that... Both teams will do extremely well here to finish with 15 men, judging by the number of yellow cards that's being dished out at the moment. But anyway, we go on with the play, and it's Colm Kavanagh's give it to Sean. Sean has made a run off that free kick. He's trying to find an angle for himself, but he's moved closer towards the sideline, and that's wide again. Philly, that's my third wide now, and I say we're finding it just that wee bit more difficult now to pick these points off. Difficult angle there, you know, to take a shot from, you know, he probably should be working that round again and find find the shooter in a better position. Chris Kavanagh going now to challenge for that ball, but the referee seen him with a pickup. He was challenged as he went for it, so the mile field could we have had a free in, but I don't think Chris can have any complaints either. He did touch that ball on the ground, so it is a free out. I can see the crowd still coming through the turnstiles here, of course. This is the first part of a double bill in Eden Dark. We have Clano and Pomroy in the senior championship following this big match here too. So the crowd really building. But oh, that's a good turnover now by the mine. It's Ryan Coleman who's been playing very well in these early stages. Ryan has given that to Harry Lahren. Now all of a sudden Harry finds a bit of space. And yes, Harry doesn't miss from that range. He's floated that one over. And that's a point that was needed, Philly, to get us back in level terms. Yeah, definitely. Good, good to see Ryan back in there. He sort of disappeared there in this last few minutes. But he, he done well to win that ball back and set Harry up for a fine score yeah a fine score by Harry and that's now 1-1 one, one for Harry so it's all about getting our danger men on the ball getting our big shooters there to get us the scores we badly need but this is a game that's now it was impossible to predict before it it's even more difficult to predict now the way it's been panned out anything can happen here now there's been goal chances there's been yellow cards it's just anything can happen in a game like this now. It's a challenge of football and let's just see now who can get on top just before half time. Cookstown slowly building it out, keeping possession, trying to keep the ball out of the my hands. And it's at number 17 now, trying to find a man here, but a good pressure by the my here. Decky Connery's in there tackling hard, working alongside Chris Gavin to get the ball and that is oh and the referee. Did it's the ball strike the referee there, Philly? He's he's brought this one back. Yeah, I think he's going to have this here. Good, better pressure by the way there. And Cookstown were just getting out his handy in that occasion. Yeah, it's all about that pressure. Sometimes it can be applied from the way forwards there. That's where the work rate should be starting. Now there's a bit of a tussle there. What way does the referee decide to give that? He's decided to give it to Cookstown. That'll bemuse some people, but perhaps there was an infringement there. All right, now all of a sudden Cookstown has found a bit of space, but is that ball going to beat him to the sideline? No, he's kept it in here. So, it's been announced there that there's two minutes of injury time there at the end of the first half, Philly. So we're approaching half time very quick. Can anybody get a score here to to uh, get in front here, get their nose in front just for half time? Here comes that big, big high ball in again. Can the Moy deal with this one? Now Conlon's underneath it and does well to bat that off. And who else? Only Colin Kavanagh sweeping back. He plays that role for the county, of course, so well. And he's doing it here for tomorrow, the Moy today again. Paddy Mackle got his hands on that ball as well there. Gives it to Tommy Conlon. Tommy finds Emmett Rafferty with it. Emmy turns back, looking for options in attack. Couldn't see it this time. And Rollin just hump a ball in. He's happy just to keep possession this time. But Harry Lohan has tried to play that one through to Ryan Coleman. But it's very hard to pick a man out there due to the Cookstown men that are back there in defence. And as we approach this halftime whistle, it's looking like it could be stalemate now, again. It's my 1-5, Cookstown 2-2. But maybe Cookstown just one last attack here, possibly. Might yield a score for them. Good pressure again from the Moy, and yes, great pressure from the Moy this time. As the referee blows the Cookstown man up for overcarrying. That's the kind of pressure you like to see your team exerting, especially around midfield, not letting... Any easy passes in. So we're just waiting for the half-time whistle now at this stage. As Daki Conroy takes the free kick. Still time for another attack as Tommy McNichol finds himself up in, in unusual territory for him. Tommy Conlon, so we're full back and corner back now in Cookstown half of the field. 
Tommy Collins going to float this high ball in, take his chances with this one to see where it might break. But Sean Kavno was underneath it, but so too were two Cookstown men. And this time, uh, there's been a challenge there. Ryan Coleman looked clumsy more than anything else. Cookstown's trying to make a fair big deal of it. But to be honest, I didn't see a whole lot in that other than it was just slightly careless. Philly, would you agree? Ah, be a bit careless. Ryan's just a big man, and he and he, he, he tackles high, you know, and that's just that's just uh, that's just his game, you know. Yeah, but careless or not, card, anyway. yeah. And I see the two managers there having words too. Gavin McGilly over there having a word with the Cookstown man. Yeah, the referee telling them both to go to the lane. So I think Gavin maybe a bit irate at that Cookstown reaction to that challenge there, which again has. Yeah, it has earned another yellow card from the way. That's four yellow cards from the way and four for Cookstown, Philly. We're, we're sitting now in eight yellow cards. That's correct, yeah. So, um, <laughs> certainly, certainly a lot of cards, yeah. It'll be an interesting second half. I think so. And that's something for the management to think about as well at half time, you know. To, do you tell. Well, usually, usually, if there's one or two cards, the management would, would make that switch, but with so many. Yeah. They'll probably have to let things sit as they are, just. Yeah, I think so. You're probably right there. But it's a not a, an ideal situation for either team because I say one more clumsy challenge and the way the referee's giving out yellow cards, it could well picked up there by Chris Kavna. And that's the final piece of action now at half time, folks. As the half time score is my 1 5, Cookstown 2 2. Both teams now going in for a well earned break. We'll see you for the start of the second half. So you join us again for the second half. Both teams now hopefully well refreshed. And they're starting out as they started out in the first half, Philly. It's all level. And uh, is there any changes you think the Mike could make to possibly give them the upper hand in this game? Well, I suppose that they'll hold back for 10 or 15 minutes here. There's a couple of men on the line, yes, for sure. Out of, uh, attacking with Conor Duffy and Jordan McQuaid on the line there. Come into the forward lane, you know, but... They'll just have to have to hold fire here for a bit and, and see how we get on in the first 10 or 15 minutes here. Yeah, let's see now. I say there could be a slight wind favouring in this half, but that, that's not always a, a an assurance that you're going to get on top. But the piss ball is broken nicely into the square. Oh, and Unandini was kind of slightly bundled over there. And the Cookstown number two was keeping very close a tabs on him there. He, he fell to the ground inside the square, but the referee was having none of it. That's a kick there from... I believe it was Emmett Rafferty had that kick there, but I think it's just floated wide. Did, what, what did you make, Philly? Was that a call shout for a penalty uh, there, possibly? Certainly, certainly inside, and, and, and he went down, and there was a challenge made, so... Yeah, I actually thought the Cookstown man had two arms wrapped around you at one stage there. Um, so there was kind of... I've seen much them... Like the, much like the other penalty in the first half. Absolutely, I've seen those given before, but this one wasn't. Either way, the ball did break to the way again, and we've shot it wide. We've had it to a wide count. So Cookstown, a wee bit of relief for them there, having conceded an early goal. Uh, they're fortunate enough not to have conceded an early goal in this half, the way they did in the first. So here we go with Marty Murray again. Of course, he's a spearhead of many Cookstown attacks, and that's a fine ball in. And he's found as Cookstown number 13, and the big cheer goes up again from the Cookstown dugout and the Cookstown crowd. That's a fine long-range effort. And it's first blood for Cookstown in this half, Philly, so they have started the best. Yeah, that's a very good point from the 13 there, and that'll obviously settle Kirkstown a bit coming out in the second half. So always very important to get the first score. Always very important too, yeah. The Moy would like to keep their nose in front as much as possible, but this game has shown that it really can turn on anything really. Like, I mean, it's turned now. The lead has changed hands three or four times in this game, so the Moy will hope that continues. But as Cookstown who started best here, even though that attack is broken down, it's Tommy Conlon now, and Tommy will want... And using his brother Nile here as well. Gives it out to Emmett Rafferty. These experienced guys in the way will want to calm things down. Tommy McNichol there, a calm, experienced head too. As Harry Lohan gets possession in his midfield lane. And he's trying to break through now. He's beat Cook two Cookstown. Marcus as he plays. Ooh, that could have been a dangerous enough ball in. It's broken to Dackie Conroy. And that ball is hit off the post. It kind of rebounded to Sean there. It hit off Sean's knee. He was trying to get it into the net. And what's the referee given here? It looks like a free in. But Sean actually got on the end of that. He didn't make a clean connection. 
but it, whatever connection he did make, it hit off the post and that was close to being another goal. There's been a bit of descent here from Cookstown as well, so that's made an easy free kick, possibly even easier. Straight in front of the post now, 14 metre line. I had put my house on that going over the bar and it does from Sean Kavanagh to tie things up again. And it's now my 1-6, Cookstown 2-3. Back in level terms, Philly, happy enough with that? Yeah, I'm not sure, sure about that free. I'm not sure they were remonstrating. Maybe, maybe it was uh, uh, off the ball that free was given for when the score didn't materialise in the first place. Yeah, so it's one six to two three now. Anyway, yeah, it's nine each. So that has the scores back in level terms again. As Marty Murray plays that long ball in again, this has been a, a tactic that Cookstown has used quite a bit in this match. But the way you can see now are back in numbers themselves. So hopefully we have found a solution to that big high ball as Colin Calvin tries to play it through, but it's just too high for Chris Calvin to deal with. But I can see there now the Moy playing with a sweeper too as well. So they've obviously talked about that at half time, how to deal with this huge aerial threat from Cookstown. As Colum Kavanagh makes a challenge out there. Tom Lahorn challenging as well. And trying to win that ball. And there's two Cookstown men laying on the ground there. As the referee has a notebook out. And if he's making his way to Tom Lahorn, we're in big trouble, Philly. There's one yellow card followed. He has one already. And that's a red card. What a terrible blow for the Moy, Philly. Did you see what happened there? Yeah, well, he, listen, there was a challenge made. And you have to be 100% certain when you go in for that ball that... When you're in the Alec Yard, and it looks like it's the Alec Yard, and Tom's gone. Tom's gone, he's the hands and the head. And that's the last thing the Moy needed. Six minutes into the second half, we are down to 14 men. And in a game that was already proven to be very close, how crucial is that sending off now going to be for the Moy? Tom makes his way across the field, totally despondent. There was a challenge, okay. Um, whether it was deemed another yellow or not, that's going to be the debate. The referee has made his decision. We could debate about it now. To the cows come home, you could say, but the referee has made the call on that. And the sending off will stand. And the sad thing is now, for the way, they're going to have to regroup here, Philly. If Tom was a defender. The team's going yeah, to have to Tom be jigged about. Tom to grips with Martin. Martin Murray was getting a lot of ball in the first 15 minutes. Martin... Tom would definitely come to grips with him, but Ooh, I'd leave Martin Murray a bit more space now. I don't know who's going to pick him up. Yeah, and just as we say that too, that free kick floated in there. The ball was allowed to bounce in front of Nathan Brady, and but it went. Thankfully, it went wide in the end up. Uh, and that for a moment was a slight bit dangerous there too. My slightly just rattled here possibly by that sending off. And I say now, our big man's really going to have to stand up and be counted now again. And Colin Calvin is doing exactly that. He wins that kick out. He shrugs the Cookstown man off after getting fouled. At number 17, he's also on a yellow. Yeah, there's quite a few men on yellow cards here now. If we, There's seven more men on yellow, so you just wonder, will that be the last sentence off today? As Sean Calvin tries to go burr through and goal now. As he lays that off to Union Dini. Union gives that to Ryan Coleman. Back to Sean Calvin again. But he's well surrounded. There's good Cookstown defence here. Union Dini has the ball again. He finds Emmett Rafferty. Emmett's going for the long range effort. And this one drops short into the Cookstown goalkeeper's hands. And back out to that man Murray again. So the Moy would really want to get a score on the board here again if they can. The scores are still level. But it's an uphill task now for the Moy. And is our championship dreams about to go down the pot again? We've seen this happen so often in the past for the Moy. There's always been hard luck stories. We've always found excuses as to why we lost games, but hopefully that's not going to be one of those days again for us. Cookstown, the corner back, floating another big high ball in. They're still going to persist with this high ball in, but this time the referee has blue, and it looks like this could be a free out for the Moy, which it is. There was a push in the back, possibly on Paddy McAleer, and the Moy will just be relieved for that one to come out again. So yeah, the management's going to have to fully make some big calls here. And possibly make some switches to rejig this yeah, team. Yeah, well, it's just, it's just going to leave them wise. He's going to have to play that bit deeper than the, if they weren't playing deep enough to begin with, and more men back. And it's just it's just getting forward, and in dark's a big pitch, and it's just getting forward then in numbers again. Yep. And just as we say that, I think the Moy is making a substitute here. Adam Curry is coming onto the field, and I think he's replacing Emmett Rafferty. 
So Adam's the first of the my subs to come on. We said the my management's going to have to do something. So that's that's obviously a defender coming in, Adam Curry, and he's the man now, I think, assigned to pick up Marty Murray. So that's a tactical substitute. And as Harry Lahern's coming roaming out the field, we'd like to see Harry sometimes closer to goal, Philly. Oh, as we lose possession there, but the referees give us a free. Yeah, Harry's roaming very deep here now, and sometimes we'd like to see him closer to goal. He's a deadly man in front of goal sometimes. But with 14 men, that's what you have to do. As Sean Kavanagh finds Nell Conlon now joining the attack. This is what it's going to take now. Defenders coming up to support this attack. With only five men there really now. As Chris Kavanagh has a poke. But this one again. This time it goes to the right and wide. So the wide's mounting up for the Moi too. Philly, that's five wides for the Moi. It's a five, yeah. Disappointing too. But I suppose he's right to have the pop there. He was inside in a good enough position. But it just didn't happen for him. No, that one just didn't come off. And as Cookstown now will try to build here again. So score's still level. It's still the Y 1 6, Cookstown 2 3. And as we approach, we're approaching the midway point now in the second half, not too far away. Another Cookstown man goes to ground there, but he's getting up now. There wasn't again much in that. He was hoping, I think, for a free there, but. Good pressure by the Moy here, the 14 men of the Moy, but all of a sudden Cookstown has found that wee bit of space. And once again, the high ball goes in. What's going to come of this? Another big fist, but this time it must have been a Moy fist because that ball has went out for a 45. So Cookstown's going to stay with this high ball going in fully there. They're going to persist with this tactic. Yeah, they're going to persist with it. Yeah, we're just the uh, number 17 was was over there, and you're going to get that man over at this stage. The Moy worked really hard. Mark Ribbon was working hard inside there, but. There's always going to be that space outside for an axe on. Yeah, but the 45 has come off for them, and that's a lovely strike off the ground from the 45 there from Cookstown. He obviously had the elements in his back there too, but even so, that had to be kicked accurately, and he did well, but has put Cookstown now a point up. So, Philly, this is going to be some test of the Mice character. A point down, a man down, and this is going to be a, a big, big now 15, 20 minutes for the Mai here to pull this one out of the fire. And there they ran the likes of Sean Cavanagh and just at that kick out there, there's two men shadowing him at every every time he moves. And they can afford to double up on him now, of course, with that extra man that they have. But it was Chris Cavanagh who won that ball around the midfield and he's found Ryan Coleman. Ryan's getting tugged there too. So a wee bit of persistent fouling creeping in here too from Cookstown. This time they've got away with it. As Harry Lahren gets his hands on that ball and now it's Ryan Coleman again and they seem to be again a wee tug, just an infringement there as Mark Gribbon's making his way and again Sean Cavan is getting hauled off the ball as well. But it's Mark Gribbon now, but Cookstown oh, did well to lay that off to Decky Connery, Decky screwed that one off, but from the side of the boot that one has went wide as well, just when the Mike could have been doing with another score. It wasn't an easy chance. Yeah, disappointing there, Dagon is usually quite good at those now off the side of the foot, but maybe rough yeah. a little bit. Possibly wasn't an easy chance, as you said, with Snapchat. I see Connell Duffy now warming up again for the Moy here too, and looks to be about to enter the fray here as well, as the referee is speaking to one of the Cookstown players as well. So is this going to be, oh, and another yellow card. Oh, I can't recall so many yellow cards in a match. Uh, that's now five for Cookstown in total, and the Moy has five as well. Connell Duffy has entered the fray, it's all happening now, Connell Duffy's coming on and I think Chris Kavanagh could be the man who's been called ashore. Chris has given a, a, a really hard working and battling 45 minutes there. He put everything into that, but now his fresh legs is possibly needed as Colin Kavanagh battles hard to win that ball. So yeah, 10 yellow cards in total in this match, which I wouldn't call a dirty game by any stretch of imagination, but... I say the referee still feels the need to stamp his authority on it and not let things develop too much as Cookstown make their way up the field. They're a point to the good, they're a man to the good. And as I say, if ever the Moy needs to produce a massive 15 minutes of championship football, it's really going to have to be now, or we're going to see our championship dreams shattered again at the quarter final stage. Now Conlon's coming well out the field now again, and he gives it off to Sean Kavner. It's not going to be one of those days again, Philly, is it? Uh, it's difficult to say at this stage, but it's going to be certainly tough to get a score here. And Kirkstown are quite happy to stop any runners coming through. And they must be obviously working these yellow cards well that no man's picking up a second. 
that's a fair point there because the last few times the has made that attack they're kind of getting pulled down in the same positions all the time I think it's always just inside this 45 meter line nothing easy about any of these kicks and as you rightly say for men that have for a team that has five or six yellow cards already they're still continuing to the firing but let's see Sean Kavna drives that ball long and this time he has hit it over the bar that's just exactly what the Moy needed Philly, as far as points go, that's quite important there, I'd have to say. That's a big score for the Moy. That'll give the Moy a bit of a boost and settle them a wee bit there. there you know, a long period there without a score and a couple of wides, and that will really, really give them a bit of pressure going into this next kick out here. Yeah, absolutely. Cookstown going short now with their kick outs. That's the Moy 1 7, Cookstown 2 4. We're back at level turns again as the Moy is forced to turn over. And if Conan Duffy can move it quick, but again, he can't. He's, he's fouled again, the same position. Just inside the 45 meter line, and yet again, there's another foul. And it's yeah, big Gilmore that fouled that time. He's well back up the field, but they're just they're obviously just trying to keep the goals out from the Moy here and keep Moy's going to have to really work hard for points. And it'll be interesting to see now. These are not easy kicks, but it'll be interesting to see if Sean can punish that again. These type of infringements. He kicked the last one well. This one's slightly further out, and he has given that. He's put plenty of welly in that one. And that one has gone over again. There's a massive cheer has went up from the Moy crowd. And Philly all of a sudden, two big, big frees from Sean Kavna. And we are back in front again. So all of a sudden, what looked doom and gloom there a few minutes ago. Hope again, Philly. Great score, yeah, yeah. And, and great work to win that, that kick out back the previous and that's a time there. And, and again, there's pressure on again. Brilliant here. pressure again. And this time it's Connell Duffy. But Connell has struck that one wide. That would have been a big blow to Cookstown there because... Cookstown short kickouts there. Decky Conray had worked so hard along with Conal Duffy to win that ball back, and Decky has taken a bit of a knock. So they might be putting real pressure on these short kickouts, which is a testimony to the 14 men, of course, but able to exert that much pressure in their own full forward line. Cookstown go long this time. They're fed up with the short kickouts. They've went long, and that's nicely palmed down. So what way can Cookstown respond? They're now the team behind. The lead has changed hands a number of times in this match. And anything's capable of happening. The halfback wants to play that ball into the big full forward again. But this time the Moy's dealing with it. And they're dealing with it a whole lot better in the second half than they did in the first half. Paddy Mackles. Yes, good enough pressure from Paddy. He's forced the line ball there. And the Moy now starting to wee bit of injection now of pace and momentum going the Moy's way here. And determination. And this is heartening to see from the Moy. Connell Duffy now with the ball. He's going to try and play that one into Ryan Coleman. He succeeds in doing that. He gives it to Harry Lahern. Harry's played a looping ball across. And Decky Connery does extremely well to win that ball. Won that ball over his head. And that's an outstanding point by Decky Connery, Philly. It's a serious good point. Done really well to win it. And to turn with so much pressure on him. And just had it over the bar. And Ola. Really good point. And Conal Duffy's done really well for me. Come on. Absolutely. Man. That fresh injection. And again, the way is forced to turn over. Brilliant work by Sean Kavna. And winning that ball back from the kick out too. It's all Moy here at the moment. And that looks as if it's Dacky Conray again with that long ball. And Colin Kavan is in there. This could go anywhere. But Cookstown has won the break. That could have went anywhere. Colin was causing pandemonium in the full forward line. Of that big long ball in from Dacky Conray. Oh and a big hit there now from Sean. On the Cookstown player. And the referee going over to have a word with Sean. But that's three points in a row from the Moy. And very nearly a fourth. So... Philly, this has been an excellent response in the last 10 minutes there, by the way. Definitely, we're working really, really hard. The substitutes have done really well coming on there, but there's another yellow card for Sean. So. Another yellow card for Sean is right, which brings to six the number of yellow cards for the Moy. Five for Cookstown, 11 yellow cards. That's a lot of yellow cards in a game. For a game that I wouldn't say is dirty in any way, but it is what it is. As Cookstown make their way to field again. The most important statistic though at the minute is the fact that the Moy are two points up. It's 1-9 to 2-4. The Moy have responded really well. We said could they stand up, could they raise to the challenge. They're doing that but this game is far from over. Cookstown still pose a huge threat of course. As Niall Conan stops McGahan in his tracks. And just like Cookstown can do in stopping men going forward. The way he's going to do likewise, just inside the 45 metre line. And it's Big Gilmer who's straightened out again to take this kick. He has had a big influence in this game as well. And can he get Cookstown back down to a point again? 
Should be a stay forward enough free for him. Good man, Philly. Perfect. The kiss of death, Philly. If you could maybe just to provide that we kiss of death maybe a couple more times before this final whistle's out, we'd be happy enough. It's a bad, bad miss for Kirkstown, that. Yeah, possibly. The for a player that's had such a good game. Yeah, he's had an excellent game. His confidence was up, but he swung that one to the wide. But, Philly, that's pressure sometimes. When you really, really need those points, them free kicks become a lot harder to take. Nathan Brady again with a kick out. And up again, Contessin. Oh, that was well won. <coughs> Excuse me, that was well won by Harry Lahorn. Excellent work by Harry Lahorn. He can feel the ball as well, of course. And now he's really making great inroads there now. Look, the Cookstown man can't keep up with him. Oh, and that's Harry Lahorn at his best there. What a catch at midfield. He took the Cookstown man on. The Cookstown man couldn't catch him. In fact, he tried to foul him. Harry was having none of it. And there's what we talk about, the big players standing up, Philly. And they're making a count here now. He's a great scorer. Harry is a great injection of pace there, and that is definitely a great score to drive them way on here. Superb score by Lahorn. And as Charles McQuaid now makes his way onto the field. Any relation, Philly, or would you know? I know him very well, yeah. Good yeah. man, that's okay. <laughs> Charles McQuaid, of course, fast experience in this team. And he's on wearing the number six here, but he's just come on there in the last minute or two, and I think he's made his way on for Mark Gribben. Or Declan Conroy, possibly, is the man who's went off the field there. Yes, I think it's Decky Conroy that Carl has replaced. So Carl on in these last 10 minutes or so to add vital experience to this my team, a great man for winning ball, as Adam Curry makes a strong challenge. And guess what, Philly, we've got another yellow card. Another man under the book, Adam Curry. That is seven yellow cards for the Moy. That's a very interesting statistic. Oh, and here's now McGatton lining the shot up. Oh, and he lays that off to Marty Murray, who shoots. And he, Marty Murray's content to take the point there. So if the Moy thought this game was going to pan out the way they wanted it to and run the clock down, it's not possibly going to be as straightforward as that. It's now Moy 1-10, Cookstown 2-5. Back down to a two-point game. It's a two-point lead that the Moy would take, but it's an uncomfortable lead because one high ball into the edge of that square again could soon... Uh, well, let's just say it could soon do away with that two-point advantage, so they might need to be on their guard here again. This game, by the looks of it, is going down to the wire. We called it at the start that that's the way it would go, and it seems exactly that's the way it's going to pan out. As more changes are made from the sideline here, it looks like Cookstown's making a substitute now too. The Moy has made three substitutes at this stage. Adam Curry, Connell Duffy and Carl McQuaid all in. And... By my reckoning, Philly, there's just less than 10 minutes to go now, so we're entering a very critical stage of the game here. Yeah, definitely, and there's a wee bit of more pressure coming from Kirkstown there. Maybe they might have dropped back a little bit, maybe thinking they're going to defend that lead, but as you say, two-point lead is very dangerous. Extremely dangerous, especially the way Cookstown... Don't forget, let's not forget, Cookstown still have an extra man here. As the Cookstown right half forward takes a shot, he's going for it. Oh, and it's just hit the upright. And much to the Moy's relief, that ball has just fizzled out wide. So, a two-point game. We're entering... A bit of pressure from Kirkstown here, and just a bit of luck off the post that time for the Moy. And Big Gilmer's moved out, Philly, by the looks of this, to midfield now, where he's winning a, a, a serious amount of ball again too. As Cookstown go in search of those scores to get them back into this. They'll not panic, they've been at this stage before, they know what it takes to win huge big championship games themselves, they are a championship team. As Tommy Conlon seems to bundle his man over there, yep, yeah. and he grabbed him around by the waist. Kieran McQuaid having a word with the referee, but guys, I don't think that's going to work here. And it's not going to prevent Tommy Conlon from getting into the book as well. Whew, if this... He's going to persist at these yellow yards, yeah. But I suppose he put the arm in at that stage of the game, he's going to... If he's doing it from the start, he's going to show the yellow cards to the final. Yeah, level. absolutely. So you just feel every challenge like that could be met with a yellow card at this stage. So the last thing we want is to go down to 13 in the closing minutes because that really does make life awkward. But here's Gilmer anyway with the free kick. He's judged this one better. And this one does go for the black spot. And now, Philly, now we are in for a tense last few minutes because it's now my 110, Cookstown 2-6. That's 13-12, a one-point game. Definitely going to be very tough here to the very last and it's all about possession football now and who can win this ball. And the man that has won that ball is Sean Kavanagh. 
He won it well at midfield, lays it off to Brother Column. And this is where the Kavanaghs will be needed now, round midfield, just to provide that Kavanagh influence, of course. And to keep hold of possession, slow the game down. As another man is about to get into the referee's notebook. He's going to have a very, very big report to write tonight with all the bookings that has taken place in this game. Colum just getting a breath there now. The Moy just really need to dig deep here now. They need to get that extra breath. There's a championship game to be won here and there's a big prize here, of course, of a semi-final spot. Sean Kavanagh picks his man out. It's Ren Coleman. Can Ren steer something here? Oh, and looks as if he's challenged there and fouled as he's about to... Yeah, he's just about to pull the trigger. The leg was taken from underneath him. And Cookstown can argue that all they want, but that is definitely a free in. And it's from 21 metres. And you'd like to think, Philly, that Sean will pop this one over and give us that two-point cushion again. Yeah, this will be very important here now, but... It's close enough in, you should expect them to hit it over the bar. The Moy bench looking on nervously there. They're all standing along the sideline, just as all the Moy supporters here are here today. Sean lines up for another free. A yes, and he taps that one over. I don't think he scored from play today, but his frees are proving very crucial. And yes, he has popped that one over. It's one eleven now to 2-6. We're back to a two-point game. As the Moy go up and contest, Marty Murray is the man to win the ball. And now, five minutes remaining in this game. Less, just under five minutes. And whatever injury time the referee decides to play. So, this is a big, big five minutes for the Moy to keep their championship hopes alive here in 2017. Cookstown midfielder plays that high ball in. But once again, the Moy has dealt with it very well. They've, they've, they've been really ready for those high balls coming in in the second half. And now they've got the numbers back. And between Colin Kavanagh and Mark Gribben, they have won that ball back. As a Cookstown player is going to need treatment now, but the Moy will be happy enough with these stoppages, Philly. Anything to break up the pattern of play? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Just to settle things a wee bit here and get things organised again. But Colin was back there again. Good man for the job. And Carl McQuaid has made himself available here too, finding space from Colum, or sorry, Sean Kavanagh's free. Adam Curry now has his hands on the ball as well. Colin Kavanagh, it's all a bit of possession game here now. Sean Kavanagh trying to find his way through two Cookstown men. Gives it off to Brother Colum again. Harry Lawrence got the ball there. Lays it off to Mark Gribben. Back to Colum Kavanagh and Harry. Nice intricate passing again here by the Moy. Is there an end product? Harry has shot there. Has he got this one? No, it has just drifted wide. So a big kick there from Harry. A nice fine Moy move, but that's one just veered wide. And it remains a two point game. Entering the last few minutes now. And how the Moy would love another score just to give them that extra wee bit of a cushion here because a two point game and a game like this, anything's level to happen. But the ball's been given away, and who who else other than Kieran McQuaid has won that ball there, of course, again for the Moy. Gives it to substitute Connell Duffy. The subs really making a difference here. Kieran McQuaid gets it back. He steadies himself. Left foot, and it's over the bar. Brilliant score from Kieran McQuaid, Philly. And that does give us that three-point cushion again. That'll give a wee, wee bit of cushion going into the last few minutes now. Good work by the two substitutes, Carl and Connell Duffy there. Worked well together, created a bit of space and left foot over the bar. And it's all about the sub bench sometimes. It's all about the strength of your squad. And it looks like a fourth my substitute's coming on here. And I think it might be... I think Paddy Lavery has entered the field of play too. So Paddy Lavery's now on for the my. And the referee has now signalled, or the linesman, I should say, the fourth official even, four minutes of injury time here as Cookstown play a high ball in. There's three points in this game, but the way back in numbers there again, the 14 men, who does have the extra man in this field? Sometimes you think it's the way this half. They've played really, really well with a man down. And it's Sean Kavanagh now coming out of his own defence, giving that one to Ryan Coleman. Ryan has popped up in a number of different positions, of course, today again as well. And that looked like a push in the back, which the referee has given. Well played. So yeah, Philly, with the 14 men, this has been a big response from the Moy, and you'd have to be impressed sometimes with the way they have dug deep here. Yeah, they've worked really hard in defence there, and Niall Conlon has been a rock in there, and, and always really well organised. Ryan Coleman coming out with it there and touched the free, and he'd be in no hurry to get up here. Absolutely not. No, every second now is precious, of course. 
as the Mai desperately try to hold on to this advantage. Three points in the game, 112 to 26. As we enter now, we're into injury time. And I say they're playing four additional minutes, of which we're already into one or two minutes. So they, I would safely say maybe just about a couple more minutes, and this game will be over. So if the Mai can keep goals out at this stage, obviously, that's stating the obvious, they should be on their way to a victory. Sean Cavan has the ball. Gives it again to Connell Duffy. As Philly mentioned earlier, the subs have played a big, big part in this game here. But the Moy needs to be careful not to overdo it here now because there's a danger they could lose the ball and that looked like more like a tackle that would go down well in the Aviva Stadium at one of the big rugby internationals. As Connell Duffy's bowled over. And I think that's Harry Lachern out there taking that free kick. And again, the Moy just want to pick out men. Niall Conlon got his hands on that ball, gives it to Sean Cavanagh, back to Niall Conlon again. Conal Duffy, good possession by the Moy. Adam Curry now has it. It's all about keeping it as simple as they can, and Adam draws the free, and we'll take that as well. We'll take that. And Adam now will be in no yeah, hurry up. Good work by Adam. Excellent work by Adam, and he'll be in no hurry. Stepped across him there, and maybe, maybe tough enough challenge there. He looks to be hurt. Yeah, he'll certainly be in no hurry up here now at this stage of the game. And it's all down now to what the referee they say adds on, even in addition to his four minutes, as Sean Cavanagh gives that ball into Harry Lohan. Harry Lohan has won that well. Harry looks up, he's just inside the 45 metre line, and there's a big cheer goes up, and the reason for the big cheer is that he has floated that one over the bar, and Philly, is that the insurance point? It's my 113, Cookstown 2-6, that's a four point game, and all of a sudden, Philly, this game should be ours for the taking. That should be it, and Harry Lahorn took, took a well struck point there. And that's 1 2 for Harry, sorry, 1 3, I apologise, it's 1 3 for Harry today. He scored, Sean Cavanagh has hit six frees, Ryan Coleman has hit two points, and Dacky Conray and Carl McQuaid also have hit points. So that's been the my scores so far, but this game is still going on. As Cookstown try and go in search of a goal, possibly, but that's not going to come to much harm as Paddy Mackle is the man to come out with that. Oh, and two my players went for the one ball. And as a result, we've lost possession now. Oh, and the Cookstown found a wee bit of space here as the cornerback comes roaming up. He takes a dipping shot, but it's just went over the bar. Oh, and there was a bit of a warning filly at this game. Mightn't be over. Definitely, but there can't be too much longer left. But if that had been into the net, there definitely would have been an edgy finish to this game. Yeah, an edgy finish, and that's not what we want. But there still is three points in it. It's the Mai 113, Cookstown 27. All eyes now on the referee as to what he's going to play on. I think it must be very, very close now to the full-time whistle. Let's just hope we get it very soon because the Cookstown is still looking threatening after all this time. And yes, there could be one chance of a last attack. They have to go for goal here, Cookstown. They floated it into the big man, but it's Tommy Conlon comes out. Much again to the relief of the My Support. A massive sigh of relief from the My Crown and now followed by a big cheer as the referee sounds the final whistle. And the Moy has won this intermediate championship quarter final on a scoreline of 113 to 27. And a fine, fine win, Philly. Happy with that? A fine win indeed, yeah. Very happy to get the final whistle. It's, it's definitely an edgy game from start to finish. And so it's gone down to the losing a man was definitely put the pressure on us, but the Moy worked really hard in the second half. Absolutely, Philly, and a great win for the Mai, and we look forward, hopefully, for more big challenge games before the year's out. Thank you for joining us tonight. Good night.